Have you heard the one about the guy who tried to save money by cutting his own hair? Let's call him Fringe Cutter Fred. One sunny afternoon, Fred decided that his unruly mop needed a trim. But instead of heading to his local barber, he thought, hey, how hard could this be? And grabbed a bowl from his kitchen. Now Fred was no hairstylist, and his chosen guide was a soup bowl, not exactly tailor-made for the task. As he began snipping away, let's just say that his hair started looking less like a trendy undercut and more like a botched arts and crafts project. And the punchline, you ask? Well, Fringe Cutter Fred's DIY haircut experiment led him straight to an emergency salon appointment. Turns out, fixing his disastrous do cost him thrice as much as his usual trim would have. So, our dear friend learned the hard way that not all DIYs are cost-effective. Let me introduce you to two of my friends, Penny and Pound. Penny is your classic penny pincher. She's all about the rules, folks. She keeps a meticulous budget, saves religiously, and treats her money like a fragile antique vase. Forget about impulse buys, Penny wouldn't even splurge on a candy bar at the checkout aisle. Then there's Pound. He's the polar opposite. Pound is a free spirit. He loves the thrill of a sale, and his idea of budgeting is checking his bank balance before making a purchase. He's the type who'll buy a boat on a whim, only to realize later he lives in a landlocked state. Classic Pound. Their approaches to saving couldn't be more different. Penny's disciplined, while Pound is... Well, Pound. Penny's got a safety net, Pound's got a boat, and a credit card bill. As you can see, Penny and Pound have very different ways of handling their finances. Rule number one. Penny always pays herself first. In the financial world, this means setting aside a portion of your income for savings before you start paying your bills or other expenses. It's like giving a gift to your future self. Penny, our savvy saver, swears by this rule. She makes a habit of putting a chunk of her paycheck into savings as soon as it lands. On the flip side, we have Pound, who's always chasing the latest shiny object. While Pound is busy splurging on the latest gadgets, Penny is building her savings. Rule number two, Penny avoids impulse purchases. Picture this, Pound strolls into a store, sees a glittering oversized rubber duck. Does he need it? No. Does he want it? Absolutely. So he buys it. But here's the kicker. Now he's got a duck that doesn't even fit in his bathtub. On the other hand, Penny walks past the same store, sees the same duck, chuckles, and walks away. The result? While Pound is struggling with buyer's remorse, Penny's savings continue to grow. Rule number three, Penny knows that small savings matter. Imagine saving a few cents on your daily coffee or a dollar on that lunch sandwich. Seems insignificant, right? But let's do the math. Those few cents and dollars saved daily can add up to a substantial amount over a year. On the other hand, Pound shrugs off these small savings thinking they're too minor to matter. Pound might scoff at Penny's frugality, but her savings account tells a different story. So, who do you think is better off? Penny or Pound? Let's take a moment to consider. Penny, with her consistent saving habits, has been able to build a robust financial cushion. She's got the means to deal with unexpected expenses, a rainy day fund as we like to call it. Penny can afford to take risks, pursue opportunities, and even splurge occasionally. Now look at Pound. Despite earning more, his constant splurging and lack of a savings plan have left him in financial quicksand. When unexpected expenses crop up, he's left scrambling opportunities he can't afford to take them and splurging well that's what got him here in the first place imagine the freedom and peace of mind that comes with having money in the bank that's the power of saving it's not about depriving yourself today but about ensuring a more comfortable secure tomorrow in the end it's clear that penny's rules for saving money have paid off now it's your turn to start saving like penny let's get cracking folks become a master of your own coin kingdom just like our dear penny Remember, it's not about living like a hermit, but being a savvy spender. Start small, maybe avoid that fourth cup of coffee, or resist the urge to buy those neon socks you'll never wear. So go on, be a penny, not a pound. And don't forget to subscribe for more financial wisdom sprinkled with a dash of humor.